moo. This rural coastal area is known for dairy farms by the dozen. Tucked on a quiet hillside is Nestucca Valley Elementary School. Boys and girls, let's start today with um, the song. This is Mr. Lucier's fourth grade class. The 32 students were in the middle of a lesson on the Oregon Trail when I dropped in for an agricultural pop quiz. How many kids here live on a farm? Even here in rural Oregon, only five out of the 32 One, students here two, live three, on farms. Four. Who thinks chocolate ice cream comes from brown cows? But even if they don't, a pretty big agricultural influence is just down the road. The Tillamook Cheese Factory churns out 70,000 pounds of cheese every day. Tillamook Creamery is a dairy cooperative for farmers in the area. With such a well-known cheese operation just down the road, these kids should be experts, right? So here's a really tough question. Who knows where cheese comes from? You know? Cheese comes from cows and you have to, you have to take the milk and put it in a sitting tank. I think they take the fat off the milk first and then they put, we'll sit it in a refrigerator for a long time until it's like really, like the cheese is all um, wobbly and everything. Like most kids, these students would obviously prefer grilled cheese instead of being grilled about cheese. Mr. Lucier is familiar with the importance of agriculture in this part of Oregon. Oh, the timber, the, the fishing industry, the dairy industry is really important here in Tillamook County. What have you seen over the years in terms of uh, the changing landscape and, and the kids? Well, I first came in 74. I had you know, half, maybe half my class came from dairy farms, and uh, I've seen that population go down a little bit. And I imagine even in a place like this where you've got cows outside the window, unless they're learning about it in the classroom, they're not necessarily going to know all these things are happening in their state, right? Right, right. But Oregon agricultural leaders know that unless they stay focused, farm and food lessons can get lost among the three R's. Oregon agriculture is definitely a rich part of our history, but it's also part of our future. And it's a very diverse commodity in Oregon. We grow more than 220 different commodities in our state. That's what's behind the Get Oregonized textbook. This book covers Oregon's history, culture, and agriculture. We send materials from Portland to Paisley, so urban to rural areas, and we work with teachers in all 36 counties across our state. Well, I really like the way the book is, is written. It's written like, in a storyteller's way. It gets kids uh, involved, they engage, they, they like the language. Who here knows how you get different kinds of cheese? Cheddar, mozzarella, Swiss? Who knows? Who knows? You add different ingredients than in cheddar cheese. I think you have to age it for a longer period or a shorter period. They just age it for a really long time. Like some it age to one year, some age to two years, some age to five years. And that's all I know. Ag education programs across the country work to help the next generation understand the importance of agriculture in the U.S. Even if these youngsters never drive a combine or plow a field, they will be voters deciding issues like land use or laws affecting the environment. We're providing accurate science-based information for the students, so we're giving them the tools to make their own decisions. And with tightening education budgets in schools everywhere, things like agricultural education could be easily cut. So programs must fit into curriculums that meet strict standards. Mr. Lucier's class has a lifetime of learning about agriculture ahead, but they pass this cheesy pop quiz, so their reward? You want some Tillamook cheese? Yeah!